Hello traders and welcome to Stock Goodies Chart School. The force index is an indicator that uses price and volume to assess the power behind a move or to identify possible turning points. It was developed by Alexander Elder and it was introduced in his classic book Trading for a Living. According to Elder, there are three essential elements to a stock price's movements. Direction, extent, and volume. The force index combines all three as an oscillator that fluctuates into positive and negative territory as the balance of power shifts. The force index can be used to reinforce the overall trend, identify playable corrections, and foreshadow reversals with bullish or bearish divergences. Now let's go ahead and load up the force index on this stock chart for Ford Motor Company, ticker symbol F, here at StockCharts.com. Down here in the Chart Attributes area, under Indicators, Force Index is right here. The standard setting is 13. This is suited pretty well for medium-term traders. If you are a day trader, you can shorten the period dramatically, and if you are a long-term trader, Elder recommends a parameter of a hundred, 100. So let's go ahead and click update. We are using the 13 force index, which is the standard setting. And the reading is minus 504,316.2, right there. Okay, the force index is pretty much unbounded. Each stock is going to have different high and low readings because it's all about volume and how big the volume is and how powerful the force of the move is down on big volume. Now remember, it combines price and volume to assess the power behind a move. Okay, so let's look at Ford here. That was a pretty powerful move down here on huge volume that went, sent force index from positive into negative territory. Huge straight down move to minus 10 million. Okay, then here is a bullish divergence where the stock is going down, but the lows on the force index are going up, foreshadowing a pretty high volume bottom here and then a nice move up where the force index crosses up through zero and at first there's not a whole lot of volume but when it breaks above this resistance right here volume comes in the force index goes up and the stock breaks out of a nice little tiny cup and handle bullish chart pattern here okay then it forms a double top and when it breaks resistance right there the volume comes in bigger and bigger as it nears the bottom and then boom there's the big volume at the bottom. There is your reversal candlestick right there with the long lower wick, the tiny body, and the super small upper wick. That's a hammer, a bullish hammer. Okay, so the stock goes up. Volume picks up as it tries to break above this area of resistance. And then profit-taking volume comes in. So that was big volume down. The force is down. Then quickly, Okay, this low right here is just slightly lower than this one, just like the lows on the chart. Okay, then it crosses back up into positive territory as it tries again to break this area of resistance and all of this resistance. Okay, the volume was not big enough. The force was not with them. Okay, finally, after a little pullback to the resistance, it finally gets the volume it needs to break out four days in a row. It breaks out into blue sky territory above all resistance on this chart on decent volume. The force really wasn't there. Then as it breaks out again above all resistance, that is a blue sky breakout on increasing green volume. Okay. Then again, some profit taking here. Now here's a gap up at the open. That's a very forceful move. So you know, up here, this green area is all positive. The stock is going up. Okay. Then the top comes. 
there's your big volume area on the top. There's all usually big volume at tops and bottom, profit taking. It forms a a bearish descending triangle. Okay, big volume on the break right here. The break of support there and there, big volume. Okay, sends it down. Nice little double bottom. There is your reversal candlestick, a long legged doji. Okay. The force starts coming back right after that. Okay, when it breaks above all levels of resistance, the volume is huge. The force index goes sky high. Right here, it closed above all levels of resistance. And on that day, that was your big volume on the blue sky breakout. The force was there. Okay. Then kind of a bearish divergence here where the forward price chart is going up, but the highs on the force index are going down. That foreshadowed the little bit of a pullback here. Okay, then another breakout here into blue sky territory above everything on the, all resistance on the chart. Unfortunately, it formed almost a bearish shooting star candlestick with a long upper wick. If there was no lower wick, that would be a perfect shooting star candlestick. But again, high volume at the top. It pulls back. Now, on this attempt at a breakout, that was the highest close on this chart, but there was no volume there. The force was not with this move. Now, let's take a look at FNMA and the force index 13. Okay, not much happening in this zone. Running totally flat, no volume at all. Then right here, the first little inkling that something's going on, a little bit of volume. Force index doesn't move. It wasn't enough to move it. Then right here, four days of increasing volume on good news on a breakout. And then, boom, high volume at the top. Kind of a fat body doji with an upper wick and a lower wick. If that body was smaller, it would be a perfect doji. But... Anyway, that's a reversal signal. Whenever you see these tall wicks at tops on high volume, that's profit taking. Okay, so it pulls back all the way back to old resistance here, which is normal. Okay, it tries to break out on pretty good volume. It's not enough to break above this old high. Force index isn't even budging here. Then it runs flat. Volume falls off on a symmetrical triangle at the end down here at the point. Not much going on. Volume goes to zero. And then the first inkling of a move. It didn't break above this resistance yet, but that was good volume after over a month of nothing. Okay, And then this day right here, this first white candle that broke above this resistance here and this resistance, that was a pretty powerful force move. The volume was bigger than the first move, which is great. Okay, The force was there. It's now in seriously in positive territory. Then right about here on this day, it broke above all levels of resistance. That was a blue sky breakout on really good volume. Volume picks up. It gets way too vertical. Anytime you see a chart take off like this and go straight up and down with gaps in between two days, it cannot sustain that kind of move. So here's your huge profit taking day. Okay, force index goes ballistic on this move. It's just even vertical right here. And then the profit taking day with the super long upper wick that closed, you know, the low of the days down here, but it closed poorly. It did fill the gap, filled both gaps on that case. Okay, but huge profit taking volume that day. Okay, force index goes way down. Now here's a bullish divergence that didn't work. Force index, the lows are going up. The stock is going down. Okay, It forms a double top chart pattern. And when it breaks support right here, it does fall. It yields you know, as much as it should have. Okay, So there's your big, profit, uh, your big volume at the bottom. Okay, The next day, almost a fully engulfing white over red, but actually not even close. On pretty good volume, but not nothing to compare back here okay so the force index is not impressed and for the rest of the period on this chart the stock runs flat and so does the force index